In this visit, I'm going to talk about the exercise stress test and the imaging stress tests. These tests, like the coronary angiogram, are used to try to answer two questions. First, is this person's symptom, say chest pain, due to coronary artery disease, cholesterol buildup in the heart blood vessels, or to something else not as serious like muscle strain or reflux esophagitis? And second, does this person have coronary artery disease that is so severe that he or she may need coronary artery bypass graft surgery or coronary artery angioplasty stent to lower the person's risk of death from a heart attack? In an exercise stress test, an electrocardiogram, a heart tracing is recorded from the heart as the person exercises on a treadmill. If the heart muscle isn't able to get enough blood flow during the exercise, then the electrocardiogram may become abnormal. An exercise stress test can detect problems that may be missed by a coronary angiogram, and the coronary angiogram may detect problems that are missed by an exercise stress test. And just as with the coronary angiogram, a normal exercise stress test does not completely rule out coronary artery disease. And just as with a coronary angiogram, a person with a normal exercise stress test could still be at high risk of heart attack or heart attack death. Uh, each of these different tests has its own strengths and weaknesses. And your doctor will order the heart test or combination of heart tests that best fits your case. Now let's talk about the imaging stress tests. In an imaging stress test, the person exercises on a treadmill just like with an exercise stress test. But in addition to the heart tracing done during the exercise, in an imaging stress test, we take pictures of the heart right after the exercise. If the heart can't get enough blood flow during the exercise, then the heart pictures may be abnormal, indicating the presence of coronary artery disease. Again, cholesterol buildup, narrowing the heart blood vessels. The imaging stress tests differ according to what kind of scanner we use to take the heart pictures. An echo stress test uses the ultrasound heart scanner. The nuclear medicine stress test uses the nuclear medicine camera to take pictures of the heart. An MR stress test uses the MR scanner to take the heart pictures. Your doctor will decide, along with you, if you need an imaging stress test, and if you do, which kind. And just as with the coronary angiogram and the exercise stress test, a normal imaging stress test does not completely rule out coronary artery disease. And just as with the coronary angiogram and the exercise stress test, a person with a normal imaging stress test could still be at high risk of heart attack or death from a heart attack. Every medical test has strengths and weaknesses. In basic heart tests, I'll talk about the resting electrocardiogram, what people often call the heart tracing, and I'll go over the resting ultrasound heart scan called the echocardiogram. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this useful.